Today's video is about robbing behavior. We'll discuss what causes it, how to prevent it, and what to do once it has begun. Here you can see the entrance of a five-frame nucleus colony that I have taken as a split. Notice how the robbing bees are drifting about looking for the entrance to the hive. The bees are actually trained on to the scent of the nectar or syrup and can smell their way to the hive entrance. Once they find it, they immediately charge in without wasting time on the landing board. Once the robbing behavior is started, the robbers quickly return to their hive to let tens or hundreds of more bees know where the weak hive is located. To stop the robbing behavior, you must stop feeding and close up the hive. Here I'm using pine straw to seal up the entrance. It is important to use a porous material that still allows air into the hive. Spanish moss or pine needles work well for this. If the material is not breathable, you could actually suffocate or overheat your hive by sealing it up. Now that the entrance is closed, you can see the bees frantically searching for a way into the hive. They even start probing the top of the hive for a way in. But without successfully gaining entry, the robbing activity declines and the robbers go on to look for other opportunities. Anytime you have small colonies located near larger colonies, they are susceptible to robbing. This is especially true if they are queenless or if the main nectar flow has slowed down. Here you can see the robbers gathering at the top of the apame hive where they can smell the syrup. Fortunately, the top of the apame hive is well sealed so the robbers can't get in. And by having the feeders at the top, of, at the, top the robbing bees seem to completely overlook the lower entrances. Here you can see the normal activity at the lower entrances of the same hive. In this way, the apame hive actually helps prevent robbing behavior. Later, I went back to the sealed hive and loosened the pine straw to allow just a few bees to pass at a time. This should allow the weak nucleus to defend the entrance. The next morning, I returned to the nuke to verify that the activity at the entrance was back to normal. The bees were properly guarding the entrance and robbing had stopped. I hope this video helps you prevent robbing in your own bee yard. Please like and subscribe.